Hey guys, Sean Lowe of Bear Patrol Tactical and uh, picked up a couple of these uh, Caldwell flashbang uh, hit indicators. Um, they are very small, a lot smaller than what I thought they were going to be. Um, and they are not very expensive. I believe I got these on sale for 30 bucks a piece. I'll go back and look, but fairly inexpe inexpensive compared to like the um, Magneto Speed uh, T1000. However, these are not replaceable. If you hit these or they get shot up or fragged or whatever and they stop working, it's just a, a fire forget and replace uh, kind of deal. So there is a drawback to this in that there isn't any replaceable components on this like you could do with the Magneto Speed. Um, but these things are small. They take three AA batteries. They provided uh, energizer as you can tell, these things are very bright. Um, and uh, they reduce down just like in the advertisement. So I bought two of these, so we'll put them on uh, smaller targets on the range. Uh, the bigger targets, you, usually you can tell that you hit stuff. So, um, And they recommend that these go on targets that are five inches or bigger. Um, so these are going kind of the mid-sized targets or even possibly try to get some on some small targets. But um, the problem with putting on a really small target is uh, you don't have a lot of room for error and if you miss and clip one of these things, uh, you shoot it. Uh, it's, it says that it's made to get shot, um, but uh, put these on some smaller targets, uh, maybe the mid-sized targets to see how long they last. I, I have a sneaky suspicion that um, due to long range environments and windage is that these things are not gonna last very long. So we'll see, we'll kind of keep tabs on it and see how long they last. They also say that they have a long run time and that they are capable of taking 30,000 impacts and illuminations. Whether that's true or not, we'll kind of keep track of that too. And then the other thing is, all right, so the other drawback to this is it's not watertight. It's uh, just the two halves uh, that separate, no gasket, no seal, no nothing in there. Um, so it is just the uh, two halves with four screws uh, keeping it together. Now you could possibly take some electrical tape and run it around the edge. I don't know how long that would last. Um, so what I might do is I might wrap one with electrical tape, leave the other one un unwrapped and then uh, see how they do. But uh, yeah, they're not sealed, they're not watertight. So you would have to, um, you know, pull them down. You wouldn't be able to have them in the rain, I don't think. Um, and from what I could tell, the switch isn't any kind of watertight either. And I'm not even sure if the uh, LEDs are watertight either. Um, so just a very simple housing uh, battery compartment with some LEDs and it's fairly sensitive to any kind of a strike. So um, just tapping it with your finger gets to go off. So, and it's very, very sensitive. So the other drawback to that is that uh, strikes on other targets. So if you don't have your target separated enough and you get any kind of a splash or a ring or uh, something that's gonna set it off, you may get you may get this thing to go off when you don't really intend it to go off. So um, having a singular target at distance or having targets separated uh, will, actually me just shaking it right there uh, when I'm setting it off. All right, so we'll get these things uh, set up on the range. Uh, I got two of them, so we'll see how long, how long they last and if they take any impacts or anything, we'll just kind of keep track of them and see how they do. But uh, pretty neat, inexpensive little piece of gear. Um, so hopefully it lasts a little while. At least one of them lasts a little while and uh, get some use out of them, so it'll be pretty neat. So anyways, looking forward to doing the class in September. September 9th and 10th, Intermediate Precision Rifle uh, down in Dawson, Texas. So check it out on www.vttactical.com